right, gregarious greetings and spectacular salutations. My name is Peter, I'm the Emotional Support Clown. Today I have Ezra. Ezra is a teacher at Esh Circus Arts, and they have never been on wire before. So it is a great time to learn new things. Let's get to it. Okay, so before we go on the wire, there's a couple things that we want to practice. Come on, um, come, come by me. And we're gonna talk about what our bodies should be thinking about, what we should be thinking about when we are on the wire. And the first step is often the most scary for new people. I like to word it like this. It's like dipping your toes in a pool. So all of our weight is on our back foot and we're stepping and we're feeling for the wire. We're always feeling with our toes, not our heel. And then we're going to step onto the wire, shifting our weights to the next foot. And I'll demonstrate this. So I'm gonna be up on the wire. Oh boy. First try, let's go. Oh, you got this. Okay, so I'm on the pedestal, which is quite small. I'm going to step onto the wire with all of my weight on my back foot. And then once I feel with my toes, which just happens to be my shoes because I didn't take off my shoes, but whatever, I'm good. Then I can start putting my weight on that foot. I'm gonna feel with my toes, shift onto that next foot. Always feeling before I step. So it's always a feel step, feel step, feel step. So I like to t tell kids to like practice this on the Velcro yeah. or whatever sort of line. So you're just gonna feel, then step, feel, then step. Now while you're doing that, you can also talk about what our bodies are doing. A lot of people have the misconception that our arms are kind of out like airplanes. This is not the case. Our arms are actually out in front and they're like, um, you ever play like a, a, a video game and you have that HUD? Yeah. Like uh, if you're flying an airplane, yeah. the, the airplane HUD kind of moves with how your, your, the body of your aircraft would move. And that is exactly what your hands do naturally when you start to lean from your left to the right. So it's a visual representation of your balance. Now, if you start to tilt on one side, you can use your arms to, it's kind of like you wave them around. Um, no, not all willy nilly, they're like windshield wipers. So you wave your arms like windshield wipers to shift your weight from side to side, depending on what side needs it. Yeah. <laughs> and then like most balancing apparatuses, our body uh, is upright. So our back is straight, our chest is upright, and our eyes are pointing forward. And that's why it's so important that we're feeling where we're going. Because if we're not feeling where we're going, we're looking down and we're trying to look where the wire is. Uh, we wanna keep our eyes either on the pedestal or visually anchored out in front. Let's go over spotting techniques. <laughs> now before we start spotting someone, it's always good to ask consent. Uh, in a moment, Ezra, I'm gonna put two fingers on your lower back and then my arm's gonna be out in front at any point, if you feel like you're gonna fall, you can grab onto my arm, regain your balance, try again. Awesome. Great. Let's give it a shot. All right. Two fingers on the back, arm out in front, get your arms up, get your... Yep. There it is. Now, while doing this, I'm actually looking at Ezra's feet, because say if they are not feeling and stepping and they accidentally miss the wire, I'll be able to quickly grab them and prevent a nasty scrape. Normally when we fall on the wire, our shins can get scraped on the wire itself. Uh, and that's basically the, the worst. Now it's important to uh, encourage the person who is balancing to try to use their balance and not hold on the whole time. A lot of kids like to just hold on the whole time. The hand around the back is actually there for just like, <laughs> emotional support. <laughs> it's there so they realize, hey, I'm cool. I'm not gonna fall. Um, and if I do, 
there's somebody there. <laughs> I feel very emotionally supported. Oh, that's great. <laughs> So if you do feel like you're falling on the wire, there's a couple things you can do. One, you can put your leg out, like I'm doing, and that gives me like a little bit more balance, because I'm balancing with my leg and my left hand. I'm good, I'm good. I can also lower my center of gravity, just a little bit, and it becomes a little bit easier to get my balance Whew. there we go but then I want to go right back up and I'm always looking at that pedestal or out in front whichever you prefer and yeah that's like the basic techniques of walking on wire Hooray. I'm out of breath thank you <laughs> you're welcome well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to walk on the wire the, the next the next video is, is going to be about something else. So tune in. <laughs> I got to catch my breath. Okay. Perfect. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I forgot to mention that you can buy or create your very own wire walking fans. The air resistance that they create help you to balance. I'm using a set in this video that was taken in 2013, back when I was in college. It was my silly idea to put the wire on a dolly, which creates that illusion of walking in place, which I think is pretty cool. Anyway, see you in the next video. Peace.